Alright folks, Xavier Thorne back with more Shutter Island for the PC and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com as my cord gets stuck on things. Oh, don't you just hate when that happens? Alright, so we got Rachel Solando's note. The Law of Four. I am 47. They were 80. Plus, you are three. We are four. But who is 67? Cryptic. Click anywhere to continue. Alright. Who is 67? Is this just some random script? Rachel is smart. Brilliant, really. To keep the structure of her delusion, she has to constantly redefine it. This note could be important. We'll hang on to it for now. Good idea. She just walked out of here? How? Through the walls? Something here stinks. And it ain't the cheese. Just bought that yesterday. Let's ask the sword elite if he knows anything. I might know something. Can't talk until my work is done. Alright. Shovel, five branches, four pieces of driftwood, and a wooden plank. Alright. Okay, here's a branch. Alright, yeah, branches should be easy. Oh, wait, that was a piece of driftwood. Oh, well. Oh, there's the shovel. Well, there was a hurricane. You know, I guess it's not too far-fetched to think a shovel might land up there. Alright, ooh, we get to keep the shovel. Okay, branch. Branch. Okay, got some driftwood. I uh, think this might be some more. Yep. Alright, so we got one more. Up oh, there's the... What was it called? Wooden plank. Alright, so we got one more... Uh, one more piece of driftwood. There we go. Oh, okay. We don't get to keep anything. Aww. I was kind of hoping I could keep that shovel. It was it was a nice shovel. You have to admit that. We don't want any other stuff. I just wanted the shovel. Dr. Sheehan was her doctor. The last one to see her. You want to talk to Sheehan? I guess we do. Let's find the Sheehan. To the mansion interior. Alright, plenty of stuff to do. Alright, so we want a kettle, a mirror, a stethoscope, a first aid kit, a bedpan, a letter opener, and a yellow pad. Alright, I noticed that letter opener sitting right there. Nice weapon. Ah, uh, there's a yellow pad. Bedpan. Wait, first aid? This box that says first aid! It must be what we need! And it is. Stethoscope for right over here. Hey, there you go. Alright. Where are you, other things? The kettle. Okay, I know I just saw it. Where'd it go? Kettle? Mr. Kettle? Why have you abandoned me? It's not very nice, man. That's a shame I lost it. I had it, I lost it. It's a shame. Let's see, a mirror. Mirror. Oh, what? okay, it's a little hand mirror right down there. And a bedpan. And we can't forget that kettle. Still gotta refine that kettle. You there, in the back, what are you? Apparently that was the kettle. Oh wait, look, looks like this, is that the bedpan? That it is. Now we want Paul Vinga's file. All right, Polly, where are you? This looks exactly like this. I know you can't. Escape. Could it be this? It could. 
Pulvingus. Reason for care, multiple homicides. Paranoia. Sheehan's notes. Mr. Vingus was a loner who rarely spent time with others due to, due to a fear of people in general. He had one brother whom he loved and trusted completely. Mr. Vingus moved into a home with his brother, his brother's wife, and their two daughters. When Mr. Vingus' brother left for the Korean War, the patient started to display more animalistic traits. Late one night, he apparently murdered all of the women in the house and left them in the basement. Disturbed man. Let's continue. Uh, all right, green glow. Back to Mr. Dr. Colley's office. So what we got? Ken Gadge's file or Gage, however you want to pronounce it. Peter Breen's file. Vincent Grice's file and Rachel Salando's file. All right. Well, we got a file here, a file here. Maybe we shouldn't cook them so fast. <laughs> Ken Gage, reason for care, assault. She hands notes. Mr. Gage, the paranoid schizophrenic. Before arriving here at Ashcliff, he beat a stranger in a grocery store with a can of peas. Well, the victim did not suffer any fatal injuries, but the state recommended he be placed in my care for evaluation. Apparently, Mr. Gage believes that this stranger was reading his mail. Okay, so it doesn't matter really that we click them so fast. We'll get to them all. Vincent Grice. Reason for care, multiple homicides, schizophrenic. She hands notes. Mr. Grice is a textbook paranoid schizophrenic. Before arriving at my facility, he murdered all of his relatives when they were visiting for the holidays. So much for Merry Christmas or any Happy Holidays. After this act, he decided to scalp each one and make himself a number of different hats. Well, that's just lovely. Let's go on to the next. He believed that these hats would shield him from the onslaught of voices that he hears. When asked about it, he commented that the voices did not stop because they were the wrong hats. Pretty good stories for these people. Creative. Alright, here's another one. Who we got? Peter Breen. Reason for care? Assault. Mr. Breen suffers from a great many phobias. Upon arriving, his file contained an assault on his father's nurse with a broken glass. The victim was critically injured and left permanently scarred. Mr. Breen is in denial regarding this incident, insisting he was not involved. Poor guy. No second page either. That, that's a shame. Alright, so we got one more file laying around. Could be this. But it's not. Ah, nope. There it is, down in that corner. Rachel Solando. Reason for care, multiple homicides, delusional. Mrs. Solando believes herself to still be living at home, waiting for her husband to return with their children. Because of this, her treatment has been very gradual. A sudden breach of her fantasy world might be catastrophic. I would estimate that she currently spends 80% of her time in fantasy and 20% in reality, crying uncontrollably. Over time, I hope to increase this number so that she fully recognizes what she did and can function in the real world. I've also considered her for neotherapy treatments, and am currently analyzing her as a possible canon candidate along with Mr. Noyce. Alright. Through the door, back to the mansion interior. And we need Beatrice Nolis's file. If I'm saying that right. Oh, and right there, hidden behind the plant. Beatrice Knowles. Let's just say Knowles, it's easier. Ms. Knowles was orphaned at age six, losing her parents in a fire. She is a suspect in five fires in the Boston area. She entered our facility after being convicted of setting fire to a theater and killing 23 people. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! Ah! Um, damn! Yeah, what in the, <laughs> exactly, who was that? Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I did not expect that. 
Sorry about that, gentlemen. This is an extremely rare type of occurrence around here. I'll have the warden take care of it. I see you have found our some of our files. Um, I suppose you'll be wanting those back. Yeah, we're gonna need to talk to Dr. Sheehan. Quite impossible. Oh, Sheehan. Right, Sheehan. That's right. He left for vacation yesterday and can't be reached. With one of his patients missing? Let's have a drink and discuss it. I want you to meet one of my colleagues. And of course, we have to find the stuff, alright? We need three liquor glasses, an ice bucket, and five liquor bottles. Wait a minute, we can go in here? Well... That's interesting. Dual screen searches. I like it. All right, here's a liquor bottle. Yeah, now to determine what's a liquor bottle. Okay, there's one. Okay, here's another. Well, glass. Okay, we got all the glasses. Do we even have the ice bucket? Where is the ice bucket? Do we have it? Yes, no, perhaps. Everything is not going to be in this room since we can go to another. Back, yeah, let's switch. See what's hanging around. Is there liquor bottles in here? I am not spotting. Oh, wait. Ice bucket. Okay, we got the ice bucket. Now those liquor bottles. Hmm. Oh, wait. This kind. I don't believe we picked any of that up. There you go. There's one. Should be another one here. Like to try to find it before I have to end this video. This isn't it, is it? Didn't think so. Had to check. Always good to check. Maybe it was in there. Return! Come on, you can't tell me a doctor doesn't keep some liquor somewhere in his office. I refuse to believe it. I don't want to have to believe it. Well... They may force me to believe it. See, the ice bucket was right there. From what I'm seeing, that was the only thing in this room. That gun is still sitting there. Do they expect me to act like it's not? I, I, I don't know what they want me to do with it. Let's run back to the other room. I do feel like it's most likely in here somewhere. Okay, we've got the three types of liquor bottles here to choose from. This is likely not it. That's right. Still wanted to check. Oh, wait, there it is. It has. I was about to reach for that flashlight. All right. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Good for this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned.